Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to understand the working of the project called Employee Performance Management System using machine learning algorithms. So as far as this project is concerned, so uh, as you know, there are so many employees are there in the company and then the management has to track their performance, how they are performing and based on their performance, whether they are eligible for appraisal or not, that is to be calculated. Now, all those things can be done using machine learning. So we'll have a data set and we'll train our model based on that data set. And once the model is trained in future, the manager will just have to put the uh, details of that particular person or the employee. And uh, within fraction of a second, it will calculate the performance rating. So the performance rating is out of five. So whatever we have calculated is given uh, out of five. And based on that, whether the appraisal will be given or not, that is calculated so that's the complete uh, uh, flow of this particular project and in order to implement this project we are using python as a programming language and uh, uh, sqlite database uh, in the back end side also the flask framework of python for the web development and at the front end side we are using the html and css coding to create a web application so after we run this project so we will have to hit this localhost 5000 on the browser and uh, then this kind of thing will come this is the uh, home page of this system then you uh, user can register if he wants to register uh, as a new account and this registration is uh, only for the uh, management it's not for the employee so this system will be used by the management only not by the employee because the management will calculate the performance and accordingly it will decide whether the appraisal is to be uh, given or not so this procedure is automated by using this particular system now uh, the management can directly log in if the there is already an account and after login they will have to enter the performance so before that uh, there are several options uh, that are visible the first option is this is related to the data set which we have so we are having this uh, kind of departments and their performance ratings and all or this like sales department and all these graphs so this is basic data analysis we can say or eda graphs we are having here the performance rating for the sales department performance rating for development department and so on so all those things are plotted over here and the most important page is this predict performance so now here you will have to enter the name let's say i'm entering the shubham and then i'm putting the information about him uh, there are so many things that like uh, the jo uh, role of that uh, job role of that employee uh, department and also the uh, its gender uh, whether employee environment satisfaction we have to let's say average and its hike percentage work life balance years in this company and years with the current role also the last promotion when the last promotion was happened and the years with the current manager so anything you can put uh, over here and once you fill all the data you have to click on this submit button and then as this uh, rating is 2 the appraisal can be given so if the rating is higher than uh, 2 or uh, if it is higher than 3 3 or more then the appraisal can be given so rating is 3 so the the person is uh, eligible for appraisal but if this rating uh, came around 2 or 1 then the person is not uh, eligible for the appraisal that's the thing and uh, whatever employees we have uh, done the prediction we'll get the record over here so now date was record for example for this employee at this date and time the uh, analysis was done and the rating of this and for this employee this is the today's prediction uh, for this employee at this date and this time the prediction was done and its performance is like this and the same thing is plotted under the graph also for all the employees so that is the uh, for the maintaining the record uh, at the management level so that's all about the complete implementation of this particular project and in case if you need the code of this project or any help to implement this particular project then you can check the description box under this video thank you